Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode of Among Trees. After having such a bad experience with fishing last episode, I think I kind of figure out how to do it because uh, I actually managed to catch two of them as you may see in here. So I, I already have two bones. So let me see if I can cook. Yeah, you can cook this fish. This one is poor. Okay, let me take like a mushroom or something so I can uh, increase that uh, value. Oh, I, why am I having this over there? <laughs> okay, maybe one of that. <coughs> So let's put this and uh, one mushroom, no, maybe this one, yes, let's cook this one. Uh, have uh, first fish soup. Let's cook the other one too. Bang. So, I'm gonna try to show you how I managed to actually get a fish. Although I'm not sure this is actually working or uh, I just did something. Uh, I might actually eat this one. Okay, let's save the game and let's go back. I'm trying to figure out the exact pro uh, technique you need to apply in order to get that freaking stupid fish. But I think I kind of figure out... I think if I'm not mistaken is to move the fishing rod upwards, uh, up and down, uh, down to release the tension and up to increase the tension and into your line. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually the case and this is uh, if this is the, the perfect procedure you have to follow, but it worked in two out of three, three bites. Two out of three bites, it's a, it actually worked. So it might be the way to do it. But uh, getting bites, it's quite tricky. You don't get as many bites as you may want to. As you can see, if I pull up, then uh, you don't see the bar, but it's actually the perfect way. If you keep this up, 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 you're gonna eventually catch it. You know? See? I kinda, it kinda worked like a few, three out of four times. And you need to rail in through the spot where the fishy goes up the surface you know once you see that uh, water splash drop it behind it and then rail in and you're gonna catch a fish and now the line broke sometimes it doesn't work i mean it's not like 100 percent the best procedure but it worked for me like quite a few times now it worked like for three out of five tries and you don't have to wait just throw behind the, the spot and then rail in and you usually catch it not all the time no so let's wait for a water splash bang throw there and then rail in it usually works, see? And no. There are probably bigger 
species. And... But most of the time it worked. See? Oh my god. Oh my god. The problem is that you actually don't see the bar if you because the bars uh, the bar the tension bar goes with the fish whatever direction the fish goes the bar goes there and most of the time you are not able to see the bar you know and that's actually bad you just have to throw and uh, rail in all the time in order to catch the fish to get more uh, more bites you know now that i figure out a little bit it's not that i don't know hard anymore you know this one it's actually got away too little tension see it's not that easy it's actually quite hard but i'm glad i managed to catch some fishes But anyway, it's, uh, they should make it a little bit easier because it's quite tricky. It's not an easy task. Fishing is not an easy mechanic in this game. Along with the bear, because at this point I have no idea how to deal with the bear. I catch another one. You don't, I don't even know how the hell am I supposed to increase the tension or drop it. I guess the fact that I catch three fishes, it's pure luck. I don't know. I still got two spots. So... So you get this one too, you get this, uh, uh, the other uh, resource you need into this game from the fishes. So you need to catch a lot of them. Okay, the line bro so it's terrible, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not a way to do it. I guess I was lucky that I got to all those three fishes. because. As it is right now, I haven't figured out how to do it. Please increase the tension. He just got away again. Oh my god, this fishing thing, it's so annoying. Come on, give me a water splash. This is definitely the way to at least get the bite. Okay, I got another one. So, it's definitely by what... The, so, my conclusion for now is that once you have see the water splash, just drop the drop it behind it and rail in and then uh, okay we are doing some job over here and once you s once you got the fish into your hook just move up and down up is to increase the tension down is to release the tension you know so yeah that's that's definitely the way to do it in my opinion that's definitely see i'm catching like three in a row so as soon as i figure out how to do it it's going it, it becomes easier see increase the tension by looking up and release the tension by by looking down Oh, there are two different... Oh, oh my goodness. There are two different things 
those two. Okay. So once more, wait for the water splash. Throw right behind the the splash like that. Then rail in. Get the fish up. Increase the tension. And down is to release the the pressure. So it's not that bad actually. It's not that bad. Take a look how many fishes I got. I finally figured out to do it and hopefully this will actually help you. I'm pretty sure uh, you will gonna have the same issues as I have with uh, this fishing thing. The fishing mechanic it's actually not that bad but it's quite bad. We don't need all those uh, tricky things to do it, you know. Okay, increase the tension by looking up, up, down, up, down. That's that's the best way, actually. By looking up and down, up and down, up and down, you know. Looking up, increase the tension, looking down, release the tension. And drop the hook behind the water splash and then rail in. And you're gonna get a bite, you know, which is what you actually want. I think I'm gonna try one more. I know I made like two episodes of fishing, but for me this is actually important because you get some such an important resources from the fish. You definitely need to do what I just did. Keep that in mind that uh, I will definitely not gonna catch all the fishes. So as soon as I look up, I increase the tension. As soon as you look down, you decrease the tension. So I basically got all the fishes that I need. I kind of learned how to do it. And if this worked for me, it will definitely work for you either. So keep that in mind, you know, that you have to drop the hook behind the water splash, rail in, get, get a bite and then, uh, and then look up for increase if you want to increase the tension and look down if you want to decrease the, the tension of the, the wire and you're gonna be able to catch catch them in the end uh, it's kind of it took me like at least half an hour to figure out how to do it but at least i managed to do it and now we have a ton of uh, fish bones and we also have these two things that are quite important later on in the game so i'm gonna take that with me I kind of want to make the... I need, uh, I think, that one. I guess, I'm not sure what. Let me see, no. I actually need to go back here to make that freaking swing kit, this one. So I need the uh, rope. I have some rope over here. I might actually make like two of them. Okay, let's get back here and make these two things. Make another one. Oh my god. Swing thread. And now let's go back here and check how many... I'm, I kind of want to make the big one. I need three of these waltz... Uh, you know what? Not the item. I don't have cattail yet, so I haven't actually figured out how to f get that. I actually have those three. So how the hell am I supposed to get that cattail? Do I get this from the lake? I think I should be able to get uh, the cattails from the lake. In my opinion, I don't know. Let's drop the fish in here and save the game because it's the most important thing. 
I think the night is about to come. I'm not sure how to get those cattails things. Cattails usually grow around the lakes and the swamps or water. And let me check this lake for cattail. I think I just saw some. Because I want to make the big one. Aren't these cattails things? Yes, they are not. And the night is about to come in here. <coughs> I'll probably gonna fish more off camera because I'm not gonna bother you with fishing all the time, you know? So I guess there are... Oh, a deer. Actually, it's a moose. So I guess that uh, those cattail things are uh, on a different lake because this one doesn't have any. So my guess is that uh, yeah, there are some uh, things around here, but they don't have cattails. So I guess there is a different lake from which you can get all those things. Although I haven't found any other lake. I'm gonna do some research and I'm gonna try to figure out where the hell am I supposed to go to get those the cattails thing. So, I'm glad that I finally figured out how to really do this whole freaking fishing thing for you guys and make you make your life easier uh, I still believe that it, the fish cat catching thing is kinda annoying and it's not that helpful Hopefully that will change in the future and make it make it a little bit easier. Anyway, you have to actually spend a lot of time fishing because you need a lot of those uh, resources. I kind of need to eat anyway, so let's eat that. more stump moss I'm doing a little bit of loot by the time I get back home for a sleep I also need to do the that thing the the tent because I have a feeling that you can actually spend the night into, into that tent without uh, losing your health or something like that This game is quite beautiful. I really like this game. I really like it. You know, it's a very, very, very nice game. I haven't found out uh, yet the... Uh, okay, there are only more shrooms. Oh, some sticks. They don't fit over there. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Let me get rid of the mushroom thing. No, the these guys in here, and maybe these guys and these guys, and uh, the other ones goes here like that, and that's it. Let's go and sleep for a while. Boom. I think I'm gonna make the 14 spaces backpack just to see how the hell it's that actually working. I need to eat. I actually don't need to eat. So let's go up here. I 
and check out to see and we're gonna figure out about the cat so oh no backpacks this one is cheaper than this one oh I need force actually I got a wrong because uh, what I was looking for it was outfit so I was stupid enough so the bigger backpack needs three of these guys let's uh, do this and 18 sticks uh, what is that uh, freaking I think it's this one no I don't have that ones is this ones yes I need the uh, hoof fungus where is is this one okay I only need two of them so let's drop another one need two and three string freaking threads and 18 sticks I don't have enough sticks though so I need to start cutting some trees to get that and I need another swing kit which is that and what else kind of forgot and one rope and one uh, freaking rope perfect let's go back here and make this guys one more and now I only need 18 sticks in order to get freaking sticks you just have to put out the freaking axe and let's start getting some sticks I can't believe I don't have enough sticks I really don't I had so many of them but it seems that I actually used all of them in cooking food and stuff like that I'm gonna take the planks too, so not only the sticks. The planks are also quite important, so... I see two of them over there. quite an expensive uh, backpack I mean uh, why the hell do I need so many sticks to make a freaking backpack okay we got everything we need let's just go up here in here and make the big one two items Oh my god, let me check how what the hell just happened. Where? Do I have more spaces in my inventory now? Wow! So what the hell just happened with this one? Oh can you actually if I wear this one, I have 12, okay? And if I move to this one, oh, oh my god, I think this is stupid. So you basically can wear more backpacks into your inventory, but you actually didn't, don't gain a uh, don't gain any extra space I mean I want I actually want to see I was hoping that I'm gonna get like 12 plus 16 but you only get 16 slots that's all you get I'm not sure if I fill up my inventory it 
it will make a difference, you know. So let me save the progress and let me try to figure out how this is actually working, you know. Let's just fill up my freaking... Okay, it's full. So now if I wear this one... No, it's definitely not working. It's definitely not working. It's either a bug or... Uh, or I don't know because... Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I, ha I hope that's actually a bug or something. Because as it is right now, it's kind of stupid. It doesn't give you... And if I craft another one of 16 spaces, I don't gain... I basically don't gain, uh, gain any... Slot spaces. Extras. You know, if I wear this one, you can't wear two at the same time. So, I don't see the point of being able to switch in between your backpacks because uh, why am I still keeping this in my inventory? Because of, I will always use the 16 slots one and not the other way around. I don't know. But it's kind of silly. So, I don't know. I hope I can... Uh, I give you... I need metal plates and one glue and 24 plates. So I'll probably go next episode. I'm going to unlock this one over here and start growing some food to see what the hell is going to happen. But I definitely need more planks in order to do that. Anyway, that that's kind of silly. I was hoping that I will gonna get uh, like. Or more backpacks uh, that I can use in the same time, you know. I mean, like 12 plus 16 slots. But it seems that it's actually not the case. Make us choice in between the which one of the backpacks you need you want to use. I don't see the point of uh, why. I'm my need still need the other one because why I still have the option of switching in between the backpacks because you will always use the bigger one and that's the biggest you can actually take yet there is no other one that's bigger so who knows anyway guys hopefully you remember what I just said and at the beginning of my uh, recording on how to actually manage successfully catch those stupid fishes, you know. Because uh, it's not an easy task. It took me like half an hour to figure out how to do it. So, yeah. I guess my video was a little bit helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. So thank you all guys for watching this this episode. Uh, give it a like if you like it. Give it a don't like if you don't like it. And uh, subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you all guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.